Good morning, and today I wanted to walk you through one of the more advanced features here in Descript. You know, I'm often talking about how you can make your own life simpler with some of the advanced AI features that Descript have got. And again, as I've said before, the beauty of Descript is um, that all the features are, are, although they're advanced, they're easy to use. Um, so I've got an example um, example recording here. I'm just going to create a duplicate of that so we can mess about with this one and not cause any problems to the original. And this is an old video that I recorded when I first started the business up. So it's me introducing a little bit about Javelin content and uh, my journey as I've gone along. Probably something I need to reshare, to be fair. I don't know why. So I'm going to jump into the questions. And as, as I've shown before, you've got the new filler words, shortened word gaps, and then you've got the Ask AI functionality. It's got some amazing features in here. There's lots and lots of different ways that you can use. Now we've got an option here to edit for clarity. Now, what Edit for Clarity does is it takes a, a section of your transcript, your text, your video, um, and remove all the parts that don't relate to the main theme of what it is that you're trying to say. And so it removes that filler where you've gone off top and moves you closer to a promo reel type clip that you can use to promote it on, on LinkedIn or social media. So in this example, I'm going to take chunk of text from the middle so this is where i'm talking about um, my journey i'm going to see what it comes up with when we clarify it now i was thinking it does take a little while for it to process all the text that's in there um, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy those edits to a new composition so we can see what it comes out with so you can apply the edits to the current script um, we can copy those edits to a new composition or actually you can ask it to refine the response as well so if you want to change what it's done slightly just going to copy it over to a new composition so you can see what we've got in here. So it's took the highlighted text and you can see here it's removed the bits. It's not as relevant to the topic as, as you'd like it to be, as you'd expect. So we've got two sentences that have been removed from this. And bear in mind, it's quite a short chunk of text to start with where it's removed. I have no real pedigree in the contact center world. I have pedigree in leadership, which is great. Uh, because that wasn't as relevant to the topics as what it might have been. So that's cool and great. Um, and if you want to then make those changes permanent, you can delete those. There's no reason to delete that. All that happens is when it's when it's got this ignored text with the line through it, when it comes to it, what it would do is it just play it. And from this point here, it will cut down to meanwhile over here as if this bit never existed in the middle. And the beauty of doing it that way is if you change your mind about the edit you've got or you want to create a couple of different versions edited out, you can remove it without making it permanent, which is a nice, it's a nice feature. From here, probably what I would do to make this ready for social media is I'd just go along and I, so for example, if I hold the Z key, I can capitalize certain words without going in and correcting the text. And also notice that there's a couple of pauses so you can see the, so what you can do is you can get rid of these by manually deleting them. You can see that's 920 milliseconds long, or again, as we've done before, can show my guests. Gaps. It. So when I do that, you can see that almost all of those have now gone. The only thing to watch when you do that is um, there will be a slight when it comes to this part of the text. Bit of time. Uh, you could see that jump there, right? So what you can now do also is on this timeline bit at the bottom, which I'm going to enlarge, drag that little white dot over here and add a bit of crossfit so that when we come back, a little bit of time and it's not as jarring on the eyes so then i would always recommend whenever you use ai to to then just go back over what it is that it's done make sure that there's nothing else that you were to take out yourself because it's not it's not a finished product ai right like it still needs human support so you might say that actually this whole section here needs moving out as well so if i strike through that as well so then we're just down to these and actually you can see now that um we're down to a chunk of one minute 22 now which you know is not far away from being a 60 second social media clip you could easily just tip this bit off the end as well got six seconds to play about with and then it's kind of fine tuning the elements within that before you export that out as a social media um edit for clarity is something that it's useful for specific clips um, usually when you've got a podcast and you want to release two or three promo clips Edit for Clarity is what I'd use to 
just remove any rambling and that's that's more with some people it's less with others it really depends on uh, how much they stay on top hope that's useful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if anybody watching this decides that uh, they want to give Descript use a go the affiliate link is down below for you to sign up and get your copy of Descript uh, thank you very much